that's my life right now is ensuring that women as they live longer appreciate that they don't have to just give in to that when someone asks them are you ready to retire yet and I get that all the time and I said what is that for me it's certainly not what it was for my parents mm-hmm. and it's certainly not what I want for myself so I stay away from the word retirement there there's where I'm very discerning about what words I use. I stay away from aging and old age and things like that, because all of that kind of language, just I notice with people when they use that kind of language, they internalize the fact mm. that they're not able to do what they were able to do in the past, which is mm-hmm. unreasonable to think that you could anyway. <laughs> Even when you're 20, you couldn't do what you did when you were six. So why we don't we don't want to anymore? We're wiser than that. Yeah. So my life is about looking at language and especially the language that women use to inspire themselves rather Mm -hmm. than giving themselves more hard knocks that they have to try to get over. Right. Mm -hmm. And also to help them with the responses that they need to make sometimes when people are putting them in a stereotype yeah, and saying, basically, when when are you going to retire? And when that was first asked, to me about, I think that was probably about 15 years ago now by someone that I worked with when I was in my thirties, he had retired. He was wall- walking the mall with other people and I was dressed for business. And he said, aren't you retired yet? And I thought to myself, why 